Hello and welcome to the Grundfos video guide on how to reply to a rejected MDS request in CDX. When you initially send us your MDS replies, we will manually look through it to make sure that you didn't make any errors along the way. If you did make an error along the way, we will simply reject your reply and then you will receive an email from CDX looking something similar to this. It will state that your reply has been rejected by Grundfos. Please bear in mind that this video will just show you how to generally reply to a rejected MDS request. I won't go into specifics with any concrete examples um, with a rejected reply since there are so many uh, different um, reasons for rejection. So this is just a general video that will show you how to reply to your MDS request. Now, when you receive a mail like this, uh, that says that your reply has been rejected, you will also receive the product name as well as the part number of the product that has been rejected. Most importantly, you will receive the reason for rejection. The reason for rejection is basically the explanation to why we have rejected your reply, but we will also provide you with guidelines on how to correct your reply in the reason for rejection. Now, my, re my reason for rejection says something completely different than yours will. So you should uh, always follow your own reason for rejection. When you've understood uh, why we rejected your reply and are ready to, to fill it in again, please go ahead and go to CDX. I've already logged into CDX, but if you're experiencing any login issues, please make sure to watch our video on login issues in CDX. Once you've successfully logged in, please make sure that you're in the MDS view. To ensure this, please click the personal settings icon and then click MDS view. Now go ahead and go to the inbox, click MDS request and then click search. Now the list of your MDS requests should appear. And here you need to find the one that has been rejected. You can find it uh, from the information that was provided in the mail where you both have the name as well as the part number. I know that, the re that my rejected request was this one. Now you can go ahead and edit your reply. So what you need to do here is follow your own reason for rejection that you received in the email and correct your reply. Please go ahead and do this now. Once you have corrected your reply, you're ready to send it to us again. This is done by going to the recipient data tab in the top and then clicking send and then confirming by clicking send again. Now you have uh, sent your corrected reply to us once again, and we will manually look through this as well to make sure that you didn't make any errors. If you did make an error, we will just simply reject it again and send a new reason for rejection for you. If you have any questions in regards to this video, please go ahead and send an email to the focus list mail, which is focus-list at gunfos.com with the subject rejected MDS help. Thank you very much for watching.